This is Georgia551, and I'm going to demonstrate something rather unique. It was a way I was able to watch my family play Nintendo back in the old 8-bit days, and they couldn't do anything about it. This is a television broadcaster. That's right, I broadcasted Nintendo. How did I come to this? Initially, back in the 8-bit days, when you had a port for the RF output, I would jam a wire in along with it and string the other wire to another TV. It would work, but the picture on both ends was terrible. I'd fidget around with it, got it to be okay, but then I wound up breaking the system by shorting it out. So then I moved on to a cable that went between the RF signal and the TV. Basically it was a split, just a simple splitter and a cable ran along the floor to TV in my room. Problem was people would trip on the wire that went across the bathroom floor even though it was very well tucked away. So then I made a add-on in which I took the existing wire put it over the bathroom door. Then I took an, another set of wires, you know, uh, took the stuff off, the uh, insulation off, twisted them up, so we had a bare connection, although they were taped together so they wouldn't short, and it went to the other TV. I got a perfect picture there, and the one that was on the TV. What I noticed when I was downstairs back in the day was if you went to channel 3, you could barely see and hear the Nintendo. At that point I realized, instead of having it wired, when I got the video game system moved to my room, it became wireless. I had a simple 10 decibel amplifier hooked in, and it worked, and it was hooked up the same way, by the way, but it just, you know, kind of made the TV act weird. That when I upped it to 20 decibels, I fried the TV. <laughs> At that point, albeit a 20 decibel and a 10 decibel amplifier, had a rough version of what you see in front of you today completely wireless, not hooked up to a TV whatsoever. So not only could I watch other people play, they had no choice, because if they disable my ability to watch them play, they couldn't play at all. So what I have here in this demo is I have two 20 decibel cable TV amplifiers, which is hooked into this composite video to radio frequency converter. I have the Nintendo Wii for the sake of demonstrating what I did back in the day with the 8-bit system. And in this case, being that using composite video, using this device, composite in, it converts it over to a radio frequency. And here you probably can't see it, is you have a choice between channel 3 and 4. And you have your ohms, which I've never touched. It doesn't seem to make any difference. So what happens is this would go to a TV, but instead it goes into a 20 decibel amplifier. I have it fully cranked, which then takes that amplified signal, goes through this wire, amplifies it again right here. Then it goes from here all the way to the roof antenna. And if you've seen my roof antenna pirated video, you know for a fact that this cable does go to my roof antenna. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power up the television transmitter. We are going to turn on the TV. Now sometimes the signal is a tad finicky, so it may or may not pick up. 
And I'm going to put the camera down for a moment. So I'm putting the... Now I'm going to turn on the Wii. Here's the antenna going to the TV. Now it's not fully extended, so... It'll look like crap. And what I'm doing is I'm demonstrating what I did back in the old days. Alrighty, now it's ready to go. Now the whole idea behind this is to show how well this works. See, I move the antenna. The signal goes away. Now, like I said, it's not fully extended. And what we're going to do is test the range. The FCC allows anyone to broadcast or transmit signals no greater than 300 feet. We are going to see how far this goes. I waited till it got somewhat dark outside so we can see the television. And there's the roof antenna in which it's connected to. And if you can see, there is a cable going up to the roof which goes to the antenna. Now what I'm going to do is extend the antenna. Now we are going to test how well this works. What I'm going to do is I have this on, which it's my pedometer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand next to the antenna. And I'm going to start this. What I'm going to do is record the distance. Now there is a next there is a distance between the antenna and where I am. Where the signal will fade out is ultimately not going to make a difference. And the way we go. We are going to test the signal. Right now it says we've gone about 35 feet, which is kind of off. This is a little finicky. The way I'm holding the antenna does not produce the best picture. When the antenna gets close to the jacket, you lose some quality. We're now at 112 feet, so it says. Which is... It's starting to get more believable. And it lost the audio for some reason. We'll just, there we go. We're 175 feet. As you can see we still get a fairly decent signal. Uh, and we lose it.
temporarily. I said these, I brought a second set of antennas. I think this is going to start getting a little pig-headed. Alrighty. And we're at 220 feet just about. And right now, it's starting to pretty much just barely work. We're at 251 feet. We're now within 30 feet of FCC limits. You can see it's starting to go away. There we go. We're at 284 feet. Let's back it up a little more. Let's see what we get now. It's still working. We're at Columbia Street. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know what happens at that intersection. Let's see what happens now. Uh, we're officially breaking the law now, 315 feet. We're now at the Lemonster train depot. It's a liquor store there now. Yeah, see, uh, using different type of amplifiers and various antennas will result in a different signal strength. 359 feet. So, for a simple spy setup, I recommend no more than 30 decibels with a pair of rabbit ears as a transmitting antenna. You're starting to play with fire once you go any further. Okay, I lost the... Uh Okay, now it's too weak for it to pick up audio. Let's just do an odd mode switch. Sometimes it makes this TV work. There we go. 409 feet. And we're going to have to end this pretty soon. So obviously I need to readjust the game. All right, we finally got far enough that it didn't work. And we only have 15 seconds to call it good. All righty, we saw that it worked. And one quick shot, 
495 feet 